July 25th, 2020. Here we go. What's good, beautiful people? It's your girl, Ashley Janae. It's the 2020 time capsule life in a day videos. So it's really cool because they didn't do this for 10 years. The last one was done in 2010. And now we've come up on 2020 and we know it's been a year. I live here in the United States and there are things that have happened that have impacted the entire world from Kobe to the pandemic, um, protests, riots. We just lost two civil rights leaders, John Lewis and um, C.T. Vivian. It's been a lot going on this year, but people are really bouncing back and we're really showing that resiliency that we have as human beings. I'm gonna be recording a few of the things that I'm doing throughout the day, places that I go. I just pulled up to one of my favorite community bike shops because I gotta get a, fa a flat fixed. According to <laughs> um, Columbus, Ohio's regulation, where I happen to be, you have to wear a mask everywhere you go. It's mandatory. Let's go to the bike shop. Hi, guys. Hi. Mommy, be right back. So, I'm leaving the bike shop. Got my tire fixed. He taught me how to fix a flat tire. That's what I needed because my inner tube was busted. And I really didn't know how. I mean, I watched a couple YouTube videos, but I just wanted to watch him do it. And this is what they do all day. And I got this really cool pump. And because it was open, they gave it to me for 15 bucks, like a $40 pump. So I'm good to go. I want to do an Ironman. It, it's not anything that's in my league right now, but I'm going to work my way up there. So on to the next spot. I have to sneak any bananas because my dogs will attack me. You know what I love? I love life and all the moments that make it so real. From laughter to headaches. Those moments when you're by yourself and the quiet is louder than your thoughts. I love every moment that I get to spend with the people I love. What a time to be alive. Okay, we're here. I just pulled up to one of my favorite metaphysical shops. There are a few things that I wanted to get. Nothing really major. I'll probably be in here two or three minutes, but uh, no matter what, got a mask up. You like my mask game? Ooh! Let's go. All right, we're all strapped in, ready to go. It's 88 degrees out here, so every half hour, 45 minutes, I have to stop, pull over in the shade, and make sure my boys, my dogs, have water. So they're about to get some water right now. Keep my little canteen with me. Keep it nice and cold. Hold on. And they're off. Nice cold water. It's 88 degrees. And I gave them a few treats too. Just to make sure they're satisfied. Hi. Hi. You want some more? Let's see if you want some more. He didn't drink his. Here you go, you want some more? My pit drinks more than my Doberman. Hi. 
Hi. You good, guys? Everybody hydrated? We got our treats. All right. All right. Let's go. My homie Erica, we just got to the shooting range. We're about to go shoot. Um, we're going over gun safety. Gun, unload it. Gun safety. Um, Cause she's only done this, I think like once maybe? Like once, so we're going over gun safety. But it's best if you get any type of weapon that you practice so you can be as effective as possible in the event that you're in a situation where danger is present. But um. Yep, that's what we about to do. You see Erica's getting the hang of it. Oh. Okay, I'm trying to light this now. Ah, <laughs> they all do. Bring that up. Bring bring it back. Bring it Ooh. back. Bring it back. <laughs> bring that back. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Look at what you did. That's <laughs> pretty good grouping. Wait, yeah, 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 yeah. Right. There was something my math teacher used to say. She would say, grouping. Grouping. Look at that. Look at that. So we're leaving. We've been in there probably like two, what'd you say, two and a half hours? Like two and a half hours. Erica can't hear. <laughs> I told her she didn't have the real uh, ear protection. You need ear, ear protection. Yeah. This ain't gonna protect nothing. <laughs> Look, One of them fell off. <laughs> Listen, I don't play. Mm -mm. I got that real ear protection. That was fine. But yeah, for Erica's first time going with me to the range, she had fun. At first, she ain't want to shoot the uh, the AR. I told her like, just shoot it. She wound up liking it. She was like, that's a big gun. But yeah, so we're done. We're off. I have a friend who is coming in town with hubby and her kids, and we're gonna go meet up with them, hopefully have some great conversations, hang out, all that good stuff. So we'll see what's next. My biggest fear is that one day I'll give in to the voice that says, you really don't have to go so hard. My biggest fear is that this life will end and I'll still have some of my dreams living inside of me instead of living out in the world. It eats me alive sometimes to think, what if I left right now and the world never received what I had to offer? Crazy. So I had to come home. I was hot and sticky. Um, take a shower and do all that good stuff. And now it's raining. You see, I changed my clothes. Look at this. Raining. Raining. But up next, I'm on my way to see my mama. If I could change anything about the world right now, I'd make it cool to have a conversation where people that don't look, live, or love like one another can just come together and at least agree to disagree without being labeled or thrown into a box. I miss that. Just a healthy debate talking about your ideas and perspectives without worrying about someone labeling you. I miss that. Look, there's my mama. Hi, mama. Hello. So I came over to my mama's house to say hi, and I wanted to show you guys hi. something. So I just realized last year that my mom is secretly an artist. So... My earrings back. She decided to take a staycation home from work. And during that time, she just started painting. Staycation? A stay-at-home vacation. I know what that means. And so she decided to start painting. Apparently, she's been an artist forever and didn't tell anybody. Because check this out. I picked it, out some of my... R &R. I picked out some of my favorite ones, but I really wanted to show you. Check this out. Look at these... I love this. Look at that little truck or little car. Fun. Look at this. This one is textured. That's with glue. Do you see this? I call this first date. Of course, these are my names for it, but. 
She has all different kinds of paintings. And this, this is just a few of them. Look at that. Look at that. My mom is so awesome. <laughs> mom, you're a painter. It's just fun. It's she's relaxing. So, she's so See modest. what you can do when you can relax. You don't even know what can come out. Hi, mama. Hi, baby. Look at this. <laughs> My mom's snake. It's a snake cucumber. See, my mom is the master gardener. I am not. Wow. I think this one actually came from a community garden, but look at that. So I wanted to come home and be able to get in the pool, but it's actually like been raining on and off. I thought it was gonna stop, but I wanted to show you one of my favorite ways to end the day and that's going to be in my favorite little comfy chair outside with one of my favorite drinks but before i do that i wanted to show you my garden check this out so this is my tomato carrots i just put some lettuce in that pot and i brought out this pot I just put a tomato in there so we still have some time for those to grow over there that spinach I actually planted uh, two or three more spinach but they all didn't do well or the groundhog ate them I'm not sure and right here these are my peppers coming up one didn't come up right here so I did see a groundhog out here a couple of times you like my little privacy wall I made cute little idea and over here these are cucumbers it just started flowering I'm excited see what I said my mom is the master gardener her her garden I should have showed you her garden is amazing but um I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I've only been trying this out for a couple of years. My grandmother was really, really good at gardening. Oh, let me show you my herbs. Got some parsley, some lemongrass, and some beautiful thyme. Look at that. I'm very proud. I'm very proud. This is my favorite little spot in my backyard. I love this spot because think, hang out, clear my thoughts. I'll come out here in the morning and just literally just breathe. But this right here, this is my favorite way to end the day. So I'm going to light a few tiki torches, make sure we keep the mosquitoes away, especially because it's been raining, um, drink my juice, and I'll probably listen to an audio book. We'll see. I might get the fire pit going. I'm not sure yet. Let's see. So, guess what I decided to do? I decided to pull out my pineapple ginger water that I already had in the refrigerator. And I'll show you something else cool that I have over here. Cute little cup holder. My drink fits perfectly in there. I love it. Ooh. That's spicy. I decided I didn't want to do any work and instead I can just come out here, sit back, relax, listen to the bugs, and eventually I'll see some stars. See my dogs in the background fighting? Look at them. Those are my buddies. They're crazy. Hey guys. Bluey. Handsome. <laughs> it's so cool this has been an interesting year so far really because so many unexpected things have happened from the unexpected untimely death of Kobe Bryant and then we had the beginning of what we understood to be the coronavirus pandemic 
Um, not too long after that, with the death of Breonna Taylor and George Floyd, it created a, a type of um, heartbreak in the community that gave room for not only protests, but then you had other groups infiltrate those protests to create riots. And we're still seeing the side effects of that even today. A little bit after that in the entertainment community, we saw Will and Jada, who for so many of us have a like really just great marriage, the type of marriage that you're rooting for, like one of those star studded couples that you just hope that they make it. You just like to see them doing well. We just recently um, experienced the loss of C.T. Vivian and John Lewis on the same day, um, less than two weeks ago, which was crazy. Two iconic civil rights leaders, both who endured violence, both who endured being called names, both who stood on the front lines for causes that made America really become better than where she was in its time. It's just, wow. Life is so short. You literally are here today and gone tomorrow. And it makes me personally just really appreciate the time that I have here. I don't know what 2030 is going to hold. I don't know what 2021 is going to hold. But it's a lesson that there's no way to know. And there's for sure no way to be absolutely prepared. It's a journey in every sense of the word. And when you just learn to enjoy the moments, it helps you to better roll with the punches when they come. A life in the day. Two thousand and twenty. When I was a kid, I used to dream of the year two thousand because I knew I would be a teenager. And I said, "Man, I can't wait until the year two thousand." And here we are, twenty years into the new millennium. And twenty twenty, this is actually the last year of the decade. Two thousand and twenty the last year so not only are we wrapping up this 20 year anniversary but we're wrapping up another decade into the new millennium wow life comes at you fast it really does and the older you get the more you realize it and it becomes all the more important to really take it all in and hold on to it it's been a day. See you in the next one, family.